Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Persona 3 Reload. Last time we were uh, in the middle of summer vacation and it was just after we went to uh, Fukushima Island I believe and did uh, some more Tartarus stuff after that. And um, last time was actually fairly decent uh, episode in terms of stuff that happened. Um, I actually took notes. Uh, we finished Suomitsu's uh, social link, the Gourmet King. Uh, so that's all done. We continued with the Hayase. Um, there was a movie festival going on, so we went there uh, to watch some of the movies with some of our friends. Um, I believe we went with uh, Yukari, Akihiko, and Koromaru, which I think I did by accident because I didn't mean to go to the movies with a fucking dog. Um, and we actually had a small, well, I say small, we actually had a brief meeting with Takaya, uh, one of the guys from Strega, those three um, hitmen um, that we find during, like, the dark hour. Um, the guy with, like, the bare, the bare chest, so, like, no shirt, and the fucking revolver, like, the, the, the hand cannon, as it were. And uh, he was basically asking why we were looking to get rid of the dark hour, because... Why get rid of personas? Why get rid of your power? Kind of thing, right? We also had a few story beats. Um, we had uh, Junpei see one of the the girl from Strega, the one with the the goth Lolita, Lolita as she's called, uh, with like the white dress and the knife through the head kind of thing. It's not an actual knife through the head, you know what I mean? It's decorative. Um, and she wouldn't give him the type, the time of day. Basically, she was in the mall and she was like drawing something, which we couldn't really tell what it was. Uh, Akihiko was met up with Shinji uh, outside of uh, the Iwatsudai Strip, the strip mall, and uh, they were talking about. Um, well, Akihiko brought up that did you know that animals also have personas? Weird, right? Um, and that's when Ken kind of saw them in the distance and was like, huh, that's Akiko talking to some guy. I wonder who he is. And he hides after um, he hears Akiko and Shinji talking about a death that occurred two years ago in October. And that perked up Ken's ears for some reason. Uh, it feels like it has something to do with him. We just don't know what yet. It affected him in some way, anyway. He was uh, pretty depressed after that. Um... And we actually had Koromaru, the dog, had a story beat with him as well, um, where he wanted to basically stay outside of the building, of the dorm, and just watch people go by for some reason. They, I think he was waiting for someone specific. An old man stopped by who knew Koromaru, and the priest who used to own... Um, I, was he called the priest? I forget. Like, uh, the guy at like, the shrine. Um, the guy who tends like the shrine. Uh, who was Koromaru's previous owner who died. And uh, talked a little bit about Koromaru, basically saying, like, uh, they tried to adopt Koromaru afterwards, after it died, the owner died, but kept on going back to the shrine for some reason. And from there, we basically stopped. Uh, I was going to go to Tartarus. Uh, we have ten days left until the next full moon, which is when the next boss arrives. Uh, we still haven't cleared... Um, the next area up to, like, the next barrier, which is actually what we're going to do now. So, yeah, as I said, pretty heavy episode uh, last time. Um, before I do that, let me go here, see how many people are supposed to be missing. Again, I forget if we're supposed to actually accept... one person okay and I guess it automatically just uh, just gives us the quest for it so that's good there's some weird sound going on There's like some weird static going on. Oh, 
Okay, you know what? I'm gonna quit out of the game and come back. Okay, I just restarted the game, and uh, I think it sounds better now. I don't know what, what was going on there. Uh, everyone can go tonight, yeah. So let's go to Tartarus. Yep. I don't know if that's always been there, that low static sound. Someone's all revved to go. But hey, do you think Koromaru actually understands what we're doing? Um, I'm sure he does. Think so? Even if he can use a persona, he's still a dog, you know? Hey, Koromaru. So, which is it? He said, resolve is shown through actions. Uh, but he's just a dog. Is he? What a freaking badass! You are the coolest dog. All right, so we added a new arcana from the last uh, boss that we fought. Max HP will increase by 10. Be able to pick one additional card from Shuffle Temp until you leave Tartarus. That's awesome! Um. That is a great one. Something I wanted to tell you. Seems Kurochan actually has two theurgies. Chairman learned that from researching his potential. We're not totally sure why that's the case, but it's certainly nice to have him on our side. I suppose just keep that in mind whenever forming a party. That's all. Okay. Uh, anything you want to say? No. Good day. What about missing person. I can sense a Between 100 and 104. Oh yes. 88. Very well. Okay. So 88 and uh, 100 to 104. Maybe we'll do the 88 one first. It's come as usual. Excuse me. Seeing I'm ready. Arf, let's let's arf together. That sounded weird. Um, let's go with. Um, I like having Yukari because again, super cheap heals. Uh, it's like what uh, one or two SP to heal the entire party. It's crazy. Um, and I will take. Do I want Mitsuru or do I want Akihiko? Let's take Akihiko. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just go. So we're at 91, so we still got a while to go for the uh, thing. Ugh, floor 88, fuck. I'm still hearing the static. I don't know if it's my headphones or if it's the game. I'm really sorry if it's the game. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, I'll I'll do the cat afterwards. Let's just let's just keep going. We're counting on you, Korochan. Yes. It's a very manly bark uh -huh. you just did. Oh, yeah. <sighs> it's like the shaking has subsided. Is everyone all right? The path towards the staircase has opened up. You can advance further now. We don't know what's waiting ahead, so please be careful going okay. forward. 
All right, let's go. I wonder what the next area is going to be like. Ooh, it's going to change. Already? That was quick. Um. Oh, no. Never mind. Yikes, there isn't much cover in this area, so we'll be spotted more easily. Um. That's fine. Oh shit. End up joining our team. Oh, you scared of me. I guess I'm still higher level. You're distressed, Jesus Christ. Straight through. Yeah, bruh. Just like we planned. Exactly like we planned. Let's do the same thing for our next fight. Okay. Oh, another door. Or, uh, I forgot what those were called. Uh, I guess that's the way out anyway. Let's do this area first. Or is that the way out? So this is where the stairs were. Okay, never mind. Well, at least now it should be easy to go to the next level. Only drain life from each other? That's pretty funny. Alright, Theurgy, let's see what he does. Deal severe dark damage to one foe, ignoring resistances. Okay. Next physical attack will deal more dam more than double the damage for all allies. Damn, that's amazing. Alright. So what kind of damage do? Right, why not? collar is working. He can summon his persona. <laughs> that was pretty cool. And he killed him. Last one. It's over. Good job, Koro 
Protoon. Now what? It still gets me. They got a human to, to do the do voices of a dog. They couldn't spend the day just like getting a dog to do different like yips and barks and shit. It's just really funny to me. Korochan found a door. Oh yeah, he did. Good, good, good boy. I would never have seen that. Good. Battlehead is unavoidable. Are you sure you want to go on? Let's fucking do it. All right. Looks like this will be interesting. Let's go. This I'll shouldn't be a problem. The analysis. Mm. Go, Polydeuces. Polydeuces. Oh, resistance to lightning. Increases all allies and flows critical ray for three turns. That's great. Yeah, now we know what he's weak to. down in this situation. What to do? Never mind. Looks like you can't hit any weaknesses. I don't have any wind. That's a shame. Go with. It's gonna win this. No, why not? This one. That's a great card. Oh, hello. Hi. As generic material. Onyx. Let's get the fuck out. Monad door, that's what it's called. Okay, great. Um, yeah, I think we've cleared everything else, so we can just go to the next floor. Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled. Number Buffalo. The Nada Senpai has been knocked down. Are you okay? I'm not up yet. No? Alright, good. Oh, fuck off. Down on my knees here. The Nada Senpai has been knocked down. 
You know what? I'll go with. Come. That about does it. All right. No shadows detected. All right then. Moving on. Okay. There's a treasure chest. Shadow spotted. What's the plan? Kill it. This shouldn't be a problem. I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. Are we doing this? Okay, does dark damage is one of them. One enemy eliminated. Focus. All enemies defeated. Good work out there. Nah, I don't need that one. Uh, I'll take the money and. The XP. Best of both worlds, baby. Good job, Korochan. Now let's get back to exploring. That was it. Oh, okay. Mm. There are enemies on this floor as well, but they're acting strange, almost fidgety, restless. Okay. Meaning what? Meaning what? I think Korochan found something. Revival bead. This should be a good test of your strength. But don't get careless. I'll take care of this. I'll do this. Fuck off. You've been knocked down! This should be a good test of your strength. But don't get careless. I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. Come at me, bro. Uh, so ice or fire? I'm gonna guess fire. Yeah, how do you like it, assholes? That's a win for the team. It's over. Good job, everyone. That was a good workout. And we'll put... I don't remember who we had. Uh, who do we need... to level up still? Charge. Oh, we just got this guy, didn't we? Uh, sure. Let's put him. Uh, whoops. We want this way. Ooh, maybe there's something nice inside. Maybe it's shit. Not most likely there's something nice inside. Balm of life. The enemy's acting kind of weird. Please consider turning back. Why? Is that a 
Shadow seems especially aggressive, doesn't it? Some enemies roaming around Tartarus may already be afflicted with status ailments. They will move differently depending on the ailment, which will take effect at the start of combat. Yeah, this guy looks like he's raging. The rage ailment causes one to lose their sense of reason. Range enemies will aggressively target you, even from a distance. They will charge upon spotting you, but struggle to redirect the force of their trajectory. So keep your calm, sidestep, and wait for your opening to attack. Um. I'm not sure why, but it appears to be agitated. It's fast, but not well coordinated. Stay calm and dodge. You should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. There's a shadow. realized Koromaru doesn't have a lot of SP. Probably shouldn't be using his uh, SP so cavalierly. Now let's get back to exploring. Because we're almost halfway through his SP and I've only used it like what? Like not even 10 times? Maybe 10 times? of uh, the, um, what are they called again? Hit Twilight me. gems. Twilight fragments. Hit him hard and fast. I'm still setting up. I'll It'll take, take a little more time. Oh, we do, there you go. Weak to lightning. We can't. Man, we cannot so much damage. Max HP will increase by 10. Eh. I'll take this one. And... The first physical attack and next battle will do more than double damage. Sure. Just like we planned. Let's do the same thing for our next fight. Fourteen. Sure. There's an arrow. Oh, there's a treasure chest. I feel like I want to save the twilight fragments for um, after, like the rooms after the bosses. Because usually more often than oh shit. Uh, because more often than not, oh, there you go. Um, more often than not, there's an item there in one of those twilight chests that uh, that would be useful for um, a quest or something, or a good weapon or armor. For this oh. in this situation. You know what? Let's do this because I want to raise her. What's it called? Her theurgy. Thanks. Let's see if we have something to get rid of. 
um, his stats, stat buffs. I know that um, Aegis, Aegis did. get this item? No, we didn't, because it's not filled out. Um, anyways, let's do... Never mind. Let's do a regular attack, I guess. I'll take care of this. Increases foe's attack for three turns. Yeah, that'll be useful. That's all it did? That was severe? I guess his defense was up. Yeah, get up from that bitch. Sucks, don't it? Oh, why didn't I do a dark? It's okay. All enemies defeated. It's, over. it's probably best that I don't use any more of his SP. Unless I need it. Good job, Korochan. Now let's get back to exploring. Uh there we go. Which way am I going? Money's gotta get paid. Yeah. Look, Arf. Found a stick. Good boy. I I I didn't even see it. Good, good boy. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Oh, is there? I saw what you saw. Even if we get stronger, so do our enemies. In the end, fighting is just as hard. <laughs> nah, it's easy. Prepare yourself. Well, if it isn't the Mr. Hogan. I'm still setting up. It's gonna win It'll us. take a little more time. Oh, 
fucked. I mean... Sure. Woof, woof, woof. Okay, stagnant air. Um... Yeah, I guess I can get rid of Sharp Student. Let's do the same thing for our next fight. <laughs> I'll be able to scan the ice. I'll take care of this. Why you keep giving me this one? I don't want that one. Yelma boost. Fine, I'll fucking take it. Jesus. So no overstock, okay. Chariot. Uh, I guess I'll replace you. Wait, what do you have? Nah, I'm okay. Wait, is it is it like permanent though? Going pretty well. Because if it's permanent, that's awesome. Um, I'll have to remember before I leave Tartarus to double check. Um, okay, I'm lost now. Wait, no, this way. How do you get your theurgy? After exploiting an enemy's weakness, as well the fight grows. Okay. Following me. Another day on the job. The analysis. I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. There you go. Uh, big 
to ice. Nice I'll go with Persephone. Currently, meh. Meh. <laughs> you looked really cool out there, Korochan. Really cool. Uh, we wanna. Chess looks like it's working. Who's gonna win this? I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. Of course, they both take fucking. Alright, alright. Gonna make me fucking use his uh, persona. He is a good pupper, though. Uh, this one. Who's a good puppy? You know there's other people on the team, right? Besides Skoromaru. I'm just saying. I think found something. The Black Quartz. Okay, and seven, right? Is that where we came from? There we go. That's our way up. I I'm aware. Great. Don't swing your sword around at random. I got him. A rare enemy. It'd be great if we can defeat it. Damn, you're fast. See evasion didn't quite help you, did it? Look at all that XP, Mara. Well, Muldoon. All right, who's next? Patrick Muldoon. Looks like this guy's hard. Harder. Oh. Well, start preparing the analysis. This fuck. I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. Sure. What does this do? Medium chance of insta kill. I mean, it's almost double the SP cost. Why not? Actually, no. Because what if it doesn't add you into any damage? 
Good boy. And he's a flick of a charm. Nope. Looks like you can target a weakness. Yes! Let's do it. Man, I gotta say, this run of uh, Tartarus is going swimmingly so far. And all the money I'm getting, jeez, like, I'm only at 177,000. I didn't need to grind earlier. I spent, what was it, like four hours grinding? Jeez. But hey, I guess it's what made me, uh, it's what make this run so, so, so smooth. Oh, that's not Hmm, there's a chest. Wanna try opening it? No. Oh, can we go up those stairs? No. How about we clear this floor first? And then we'll... We could head back, but it's your call. No. Uh, anything I missed? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go to the next floor. Wow, we're already at one of the Powerful bosses. Enemy spotted. Please be careful. Later. Against tougher enemies like these, theory will go a long way. One option is to have it ready as soon as you enter combat so you can unload a barrage. This is... I sent someone on the higher floor. It's a floor we haven't been to yet, though. I hope we can get there soon. Okay. Let's head down first and save. As per usual. Oh, yes. Where's that a special guest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 884. I know, you told me. Uh, sure. Have a safe trip. Yeah, yeah. Let's fuck them up. Um. All right. Prepare Prepare yourselves. Yourselves. They're weak, but don't be careless. Uh. Um. I wanna. Work. Never mind then. That's weak. One step at a time. I'll eat you. You struck a weakness. This one, Sonata Senpai. All right, here I go. You know, I probably shouldn't have done, I've done it at him. Should have done it with one of the hands. Because what if they heal? Did a lot of damage there. Sick. I'll go with. Um, not that. We can hit a weakness with this. I'm sure I have someone who can do better. No. Uh, weak. We can do that. This is it. Nice. 
You hit a weakness! You're poisoned! Keep an eye on your health! Uh, I'm gonna try it, well, it's effective against someone. One enemy eliminated. How was oh my god. Keep an eye on your health. There's that. Hey, that's just unfair. Uh. What to do? Can I scan Is on this weak? enemy? How can we do this? Did I scan on this enemy? There we go. Too bad we're all poisoned, can't do anything. Got him back up, don't worry. Yukari Chan's been poisoned. Do you have an antidote? Some fun! Persona! You've been poisoned! I'll go You're losing help! I'll give you some nutrients! Um, fuck. There. You've been poisoned. You're losing health. Kuroto knocked one down. Enemy eliminated. Good boy, Kuroto. Solid hit. Sonata Sampai, here's the time. Keep an eye on your health. There's Sonata! Thanks. Oh. Appreciate it. Hey. Sorry, I haven't been talking a lot during the fight. Just kind of been concentrating a little. Even though I, you know, we got this you in the bag. You have a skill that can hit a weakness. Persona! To do for so there we go. You hit a weakness. <laughs> All enemies defeated. Good work out there. Carmaro seems happy we won. Arf. Uh, good boy. Arf, arf. Goromaru looks proud of himself. Arf. Sorry, I said arf. That was a mistranslation. It was an arf. Apologies. Okay, let's head back and we'll save. As per the use. Um. Resume. Okay, let's see what goodies we have. Ah. Nothing up here. That chest looks like it's worth opening. Not bad. 
good. Uh, sure. No, don't equip now. What is it, dude? Jacket so full of holes, anyone willing to wear it fears nothing. Um. How much does it get? 154? Sure. I don't know how often we'll come across spear, but. Yeah. Carnage knife, eh? Great! Well, there's a weapon inside. I think Coral Chan will be able to use that one well. Uh, it looks pretty good. Sure, give it to him. What does it do, though? Auto Taro Kaja. Temporarily boost attack for Karamaro. Very nice, yeah. Why the fuck not? Finally, we're on the hundredth floor. That's a mind-boggling number, but the end's not even in sight. Well, there's no hurry, so let's keep a steady pace. Um. I forget exactly how many floors there are. I believe it's around 160, but I could be wrong. One target. This will be no problem at all. I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. Suck, Maru. See what you did? You have a skill that can hit a weakness. Maru, come on, man. Not bad. Bro. We can hit a weakness with this. And I miss. Oh, never mind. God, can I get better ones, please? Uh, I want the... Yeah, I want the coins. What does this one do? Physical? Ugh, just give me that one. Um... Uh, sure. Training is preparing me for this. Sure, why not? Um, and I want to change my persona back to this one. Uh, yeah. We finally reached the 100th floor. I wonder how much further we have to go. Ooh, maybe there's something like. Sean is fine. Don't worry about him. Go. Went ahead and scout the area. Perfect, thanks. Yep. Oh, missing person is here. 
You can do it, Korochan. You can do it, boy. Hey, someone's there. Um. Uh, ask for an yes. escort. All right. And that's my cue. Hang tight. That's right. All right, I'm here. Let me take care of this. You get going. Uh, yeah. Keep <sighs> safe. Tried searching again, but I don't sense any more people inside. I think we rescued everyone that had wandered in here. Thank goodness. Watch. The next fucking day, there's going to be, like, another one or two people. I, I fucking bet you. One of those chests. I'm really sorry, guys. I haven't been saying anything this entire time. This is like a really boring episode. Uh, it's hard to visualize a building with over 100 floors, isn't it? Uh, I'm sure there's skyscrapers that are over 100 floors. Um. I recently watched the Three Body Problem uh, on Netflix. Uh, it just came out like a week ago. It's uh, it's okay. Uh, I don't really see what all the fuss is about, but like how it's this epic fucking show. It was it was okay. Um, and then don't be like uh, one of those people that's like, oh, you didn't get it. If you just thought it was like, no, I, f I fucking got it. I got the point of it. The biggest thing is we'll see if there's a season two because you know on Netflix is it'd be the greatest show in the fucking world, but you know if it's too much money or something they'll cancel it. And that show needs a season two, like on its it. it I feel like it doesn't stand well on its own. Um, and there aren't many shows that that really have that happen, where like uh, it it needs like a season one needs the season two for it to really be complete. Otherwise, it's it's a completely not pointless story, but it's you know you, you hate those shows that have like cliffhangers, right? And and just leaves it off like that. It's like what's the point of watching the show if it's just gonna leave off the cliffhanger? I, I generally don't watch shows like that. Um, a lot of the times I actually don't watch a show uh, until the series is fully done, unless I'm like really, really, really into the show. Um. Like, Manifest is actually a good one. Uh, I, my sister watched, and she was saying it's phenomenal. And um, I know it took a long time for it to come out with, like, the last couple of seasons. I think it was the last season or two. I can't remember. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'll just wait until it fully comes out. She's like, just fucking watch it. And I'm like, no, like, because I don't want to be left on a cliffhanger if they don't continue with the show. And to my understanding, they finally did finish the show. I haven't started it yet, but I hear great things. For fuck's sake. Exploited bitches. Yeah, three body problem. It, it was okay. It is my kind of show, um, but it was it was just okay. A victory well earned. 
I would personally wait to wait for season two to come out before before watching it. That'd be my suggestion yeah, anyway. Stairs. So I got my scenario down there. Attacking him, that's fine. Enemy defeated. You're doing great, Yukari John. Not about to be one. No shadows detected. Oh, did I choose it? No, I didn't. Thought I chose the wrong one for a second. Sure, I do. Voodoo. All right, who's next? It seems like we took everything. Stop getting in our way. Better watch out. Focus. Only two left. Oh. Enemy defeated. Good Miss me, bitch. Only two left. Got this. That was interesting. Enemy eliminated. This one's not a good guy. I watched uh, Spaceman as well, the, the Adam Sandler Netflix movie. Um, it's a lot of attack damage will increase. Yeah, that's that's good. I'll take it. Arcana burst. Uh, I will take the XP and I will take the money. Huh. That was a Wait, was that a hero pants? It's all for a low price. So. Um, what was I saying? Spaceman, right? Um, it was an okay movie. Uh, it surprisingly reminded me so much of a book uh, by uh, what is it, Andrew Weir, uh, the guy who wrote The Martian. Um, and the book is called uh, Project Hail Mary. It's surprisingly, it's not like exactly close, but it's like a close enough story. Um, where there's a guy like, you know, trapped out in space uh, on a mission to save Earth um, and comes across an alien being. If you haven't read the book, I highly, highly suggest you read it. Um, I know it's being adapted into, into a movie with uh, Brian Gosling, I believe. Um, don't look anything up about it. Don't look up uh, what the story's about, uh, anything about like the alien. I've even said too much. Just read the book. 
it, it's it's a fantastic. I literally cannot put it uh, put it down. Oh, fuck off. Um, I actually read uh, that book. I, I read Pro uh, Project Hail Mary before I read uh, The Martian. Uh, there's another book. I I'm actually reading his books in backwards order. Uh, there's another book he has. Uh, it's one of his. It's his first book, I believe. I forget what it's called. Um, but I think it was also adapted into a movie with. Um, Oh, what is her name? The um, the girl who was in Men in Black too, um, and who was in Clerks too. The, the name's escaping me at the moment. Um, if I'm remembering it correctly, I might be. I might be just pulling that entire thing out of my ass. But even The Martian was a great read. There was a, quite a... I don't want to say a lot of differences, but... Some interesting uh, differences. Like even Vincent's name, Vincent Kapoor. It wasn't Vincent, it was something else. I, I forgot what the name is actually... What it actually was. It began with a V. It kind of sounded like Vincent, but it wasn't Vincent. Now you've done it. This will do the trick. Like to with threes, bitch. This should be a good test of your strength, but don't get careless. Um, yeah, just regular damage to it. There you go. That worked out in my favor. And it's dizzy. Goodbye. Do I have the right persona? Yeah, I do. I also currently rewatch the Cloverfield Paradox, but the guys, uh, the the team that goes out into space to start the um, what was it called? Um, I think it began with an A, like some kind of energy beam that will shoot down to Earth and give it like unlimited energy. I don't. I think it was called like the Artemis Project or something. I can't remember. Something like that. Uh, what a what a shitty movie. <laughs> And the funny thing is, there's a uh, there's a few Marvel alumni in there. There's Daniel Bruhl who played Baron Zemo, and um, Ooh, there is, um, what's her name, Juju something. Uh, the the girl who played uh, Ravona, um, Ravona, not Ravona, Ravona Renslayer, Ramona Renslayer, Ravona. The the girl from Loki. The the. Uh, Owen Wilson's friend. I need to get out. Courageous something can't situation. do anything right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, I love the first Cloverfield. I like the second Cloverfield. Um, what is that? 19 Cloverfield Lane or something like that. Um, that's a surprisingly good movie. If you haven't seen that one either, that's... Um, that one, you would never even guess. Like I, I feel like they kind of spoiled it by even putting Cloverfield in the title. Um, but it's, it's, it's a good movie. But Cloverfield Paradox, like, it has, it has literally nothing to do with Cloverfield. Like, a guy in the movie says, like, uh, what they're doing, like, they'll open a portal to another dimension. I call it the Cloverfield Paradox, and it's like, alright, man. The, the open a portal to another dimension, like, demons or monsters or whatever will come through. I feel like that's the only reason it has anything to do with Cloverfield. Deals medium slash to all foes. Yeah. All right, let's be on our way. Tartarus has to end somewhere, right? Oh, there's the top of... I'm completely turned around. I don't remember. There's a shot. Four enemies. We have the advantage. Don't hold anything back. Focus. Yeah, they're in life from each other. You're just fucking yourselves over, man. to work it's funny how i'm like so overpowered that like I'm, I'm i'm beating enemies just by bashing them you know what i mean that's a one-way teleporter but there's no need to head back yet and again i didn't really mean to level this high up i just wanted money and now look at this two hundred seven thousand. jesus uh you know, let's just go to the next level Next boss. There's a border floor coming up in six floors. Okay. So this is the... I think this is the final boss for this area. Let's just heal. Just cost us four SP, so definitely worth it. All right, let's do this. Ready? We're forcing our way through. Gonna do it.
Okay, that's a heal. go through all our things for now. So what else are we saving them up for? Uh, one. So if you got have any persona with, uh, I mean, I don't expect you guys to know like all the personas that, uh, the main character has all the different ones that you go through but like if you could have a persona with like a certain uh elemental affinity what would it be like would you choose fire ice air um wind or i guess air and wind is the same thing uh dark light lightning I never really understand how air can be hurtful like that. I would think the one that's got to hurt the most is, um... Oof. It's tough. I was thinking the one that's got to hurt the most is either fire or lightning. How is Sonata shocked? Uh, fire obviously will like burn you, but like lightning can lightning can fuck you up, man. Electricity. What does this do? Increases the power of attacks to target all foils by 15%. Nice. I mean, I don't know how many of those we actually use. All foes, all foes. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yes. Great, now we'll be able to move on. There's always the option to turn back, too. What's your call? Uh, let's keep going. I see. Gotcha. We'll take things at your pace. We're gonna turn back, but only to save. Uh, let's heal first. Yeah, if I had to choose, I'd probably choose between fire and lightning. Um. Possibly closer to lightning. It's like, who wouldn't want to be, like, Storm, you know? Like, calling down fucking Thunderbolts and shit. Or, like, Thor. Well, Thor's technically got a Thunder. Yep. Flash Grenade. So that will go to... I guess... Distress medium. Grenade launcher and fires flash grenades. Uh, three less accuracy for what is that? 32 damage? I'll fucking take it. Yeah, see, this is what I'm saving all my Twilight Fragments for. Ooh, a sexy armor. Armor that captivates men. It might fit Mitsuru. No. Uh, sorry. I fucking blanked out what I needed. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, it's an outfit. Sure. Let's see what you look like. That is... It's not bad. I think, uh, Yukari's was better. Actually, they're the same. Just different colors. 
Um, yeah, fascinating. So, uniform and armband. Or is it C's uniform? C's uniform. Yeah. And C's uniform. There we go. Cool. And then this one. Precious egg. Few more floors left. That chest looks like it's worth opening. Uh, I'm gonna save I my toilet fragment. Thank you. You always look so elegant. And We've got the upper hand. The fuck. Sometimes it's just like the weirdest designs. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna lie, I am getting extremely tired. Because it is 4.40 in the morning. I wanna get through the, I wanna get to the barrier. Miss me, bitch. Woody week two, Woody week two, right. Turn around for a minute. Found the stairs. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. There's a treasure chest. What should we do? If you want your body to look toned. Careful. The enemy's nearby. <laughs> Did he kill? Oh, I thought he flat out killed him. That would have been so funny. Oh, 
protected. So they fell. Uh, strength. Do I have strength? I don't. Also, Kaja. I don't want to get a guru, get rid of Guru, because he's the only one that has um, uh, dark damage. Sure. Go ahead. Yeah, looks like I can clear the area anyway. Yo. Thank you. Some money. I will always take the money. Can't imagine anyone believing us about the Dark Hour or Tartarus. I mean, I've seen them in person. I could still hardly believe everything that's happened. Let's keep going. I also watched the, uh, the new Ghostbusters movie, The Frozen Empire. Um, a lot of problems with it, but you know what? I dug it. It, it was okay. Could have been a lot worse. Um, a lot of problems with the movie for sure. the main character running away. I don't know what'll happen. Like, if it'll just end the game out, right? Um, but, um... Only two left. There's one left. What the fuck are you talking about? Um... Yeah, like... It's, uh... It is a weird movie, and a lot of... For a kid's movie, it's surprisingly dark at times. And you're wondering, like, what the fuck? Like, where is this going? Um, without really spoiling anything. But, uh, it was... It was alright. It was entertaining. I mean, you can't take this stuff too seriously, right? Even if it is a kid's movie. Let's see. my own fault for that one. That's okay. Um, you can't take these kind of movies too seriously. I mean, that said, the story is also a little bit all over the place. Um, but Afterlife, I loved Afterlife. Uh, yeah, I don't know, again, why critics were panning that movie, saying it was like, oh, it... it um, it relies too much on nostalgia, and it's like, yeah, that's the fucking point of the movie. Like, it's a sequel after what, like, thirty years? Who else is going to be catered to? Of course, it's of course it panders to fucking nostalgia. And hey, there's nothing wrong with that. It's like saying the Mario, like the Super Mario movies. Uh, cartoon the movie sucked because it was pandering to kids it's like yeah it, it's a kids movie what did you fucking expect oh god see what happens when i don't pay fucking attention uh where is there he is 
Prince of Power! I'll get him this time. I'll take care of this. Do it, Holly Gucci! <sighs> you asked for it, fucker. Now let's finish him off! Don't pull any punches! Oh, I can't get up. Fucking asshole. I won't let you down. Remember, you can stop at things like that. Oh, and I need to feed it. Good work out there. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, it, Panderson nostalgia. I mean, like, who's gonna watch a Ghostbusters movie thirty years later without not really watching the other ones and having fond memories of it? You know what I mean? See, this is what. <coughs> Sorry, this is why I don't like watching uh, reviews of movies. Before I even watch it myself, because it's like even critics. Like I don't get critics sometimes. Like I studied film. I have a degree in film. Um, and I'm not saying that sounds snobbish or anything. Like I have a degree in film. I have a degree in journalism. Um, in broadcast journalism. So I have a fair idea of what critics are looking for. And sometimes it's like, let's do this. I I don't know what they're what they're thinking half the time. Like I'm sure a lot of people notice. Like they they always say great things about terror movies and they fucking uh they like they praise the shitty movies and you know hardcore pan like the the good ones for whatever reason. Like, a few of my friends are actually still huge fans of, like, the whole Cisco and Ebert period. And sure, it's fun to watch, like, critics and reviews. Like, Nostalgia Critic, like, yeah, he's fun to watch, you know? Uh, Jeremy Johns, he's fun to watch. But it, I don't really take their stuff to, uh... I don't, I don't take their stuff to heart all that much. I mean, Nostalgia Critic basically plays a character. Um... It's, uh, I mean, I'm sure that's what Doug really thinks, but I mean, the Nostalgia Critic just, like, takes it over the top. He dials it to 11, so to speak. And Jeremy Johns, his reviews are hit and miss. I mean, I like the guy, but, um, I don't necessarily always follow his, uh, his advice on movies. Uh, yeah, let's do this one, and then we'll do the money. Justice, Principality. Too bad, um, too bad Justice is already... Fuck it, get rid of Star. If we need it, we'll just rebuy it. We got enough money anyway. Like, some of my favorite movies are just, uh, you know, they're, they're like stupid movies. Like, my favorite movie of all time, probably a movie you've never heard of, called Big Trouble in Little China. It uh, stars my hero, Kurt Russell. Um, and it's... If you've never heard of that movie, like, I I can't even describe it to you. It's, it's practically... <laughs> I don't even know how to sum it up. Um, it's basically like a trucker who gets sucked into the, the, um, the, the, old Chinese mysticism, uh, 
while trying to save his friend's girl who got kidnapped for uh, basically sex trafficking. <laughs> that's that's the best way I can fucking describe. It's a terrible description. Fucking terrible. But it's an awesome fucking movie, man. It's it's one of those movies that is like, it's so quotable. Like pretty much every other line is like a is is like a quote. Like it's it's so good. I remember watching that movie when I was a kid, and that was actually the movie that got me the into movies that made me want to study film. Money, and we'll do chariot, I guess. We have Mithras. Sure. I'm not even looking at fucking what they do anymore. We're just flying through this. Uh, nope, sorry. That was weird. So I don't even know what these guys are weak to. Uh, no. Let's try this. Yeah, it heals. Of course it heals. You still don't have Mabufula? Wait, what? To one foe. Oh, did I take the wrong thing out? Fuck. Wait. To all foes. Oh, that's medium. I'm... Fire probably gets rid of them. Why not? Let's try it. Oh, they're weak to light damage. Stop missing, guys. Come on. He's fine. Even when I'm not wearing the fucking headset, I know what they're talking about. 
there aren't any shadows here, but I'm picking up a signal of a certain kind of door. The next floor is a border floor. Finally hit another checkpoint. There won't be any enemies here, so you can check out the area without stressing over it. Okay. Let me say that now. Oh, there's that door, though. It's one of those doors again. Since the layout of this floor doesn't change, this door likely won't disappear. So we can explore at any time. We'll leave it up to you. Uh, let's just go through it. Uh, we'll need... to... Let's just do this one. Give him back a hundred. Temperance Tarot is reacting. Um. Looks like the door has been unlocked. I can sense strong shadows just beyond it. Please be careful. How many did we fight last time? I think it was three. To defeat this enemy, yeah, I'm ready. Right. I also, since we're talking about movies, <laughs> I also recently watched Argyle. Um, that generally, those are my kind of movies. Um, like Matthew Vaughn, especially like Kingsman, is definitely my kind of movie. But um, you know, this wasn't directed by Matthew Vaughn; it was produced by him. And it really felt like it was meant to be like a love letter to Matthew Vaughn movies. But Argyle ultimately, in all honesty, I didn't like it. Shows two. I don't know what that means. Um, let's get rid of you. Um, I felt like... If you guys haven't seen it, like... I don't know, like, just lower down the volume for the next 30 seconds, I guess. I'm not going to spoil anything, but th there is a minor spo spoiler. Um, I found that the twist halfway through was just so weird. No, I don't want you to guard. Um, um, it came out of nowhere, and it was like... Um, I didn't believe it. I didn't buy it. Uh, and especially the uh, the 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 scene where they're like in the the enemy base. Uh, I forget their names, but like Bryce Dallas Howard and Sam Rockwell, when they're in the base and they're like fighting through. It's like their last stand, and they're throwing like the grenades, like the colored grenades, and they're fighting to the at, like they're shooting to the music, and like they're making you know the the heart symbol with fucking uh, the the gas, like the the grenades. That's clearly like um, a Matthew Vaughn thing. Like it, it's clearly his style. Because like look at Kingsman, right? Like how many times? Like in the first Kingsman. You know, there was that whole church scene, uh, you know, the free bird. Uh, and then Kingsman 2 was like the whole, like it was um, uh, Eggsy and, um, uh, oh, what the fuck was his name? Uh, not Arthur. Oh my God, what the fuck was his name? Lancelot. Um, when they were fighting on the island to uh, Saturday night. It's like that's awesome. Like that, that was that was so cool. But this, I don't know. It was it was way over the top. This one. I I just didn't like it. 
Thank God. For an electric shock. What's the plan here? I'll show you. Worth our time. No shadows detected. Um, auto rebellion. First physical attack of the next battle will do more than double damage. I mean, I might actually take that one. Not sure if it's just a coincidence, but that enemy resembled a die. Did it have a set course of action depending on the roll? Like each number is tied to a specific action? If that's the case, it's pretty risky. I can't imagine I can't imagine leaving everything to chance like that. But I guess everyone could use a little luck sometimes. I wish you all the best of luck in your next battle as well. Well, thank you, Fuka. It might be a treasure chest up ahead, but I sense an enemy presence there too. If you're worn off from battling, don't push yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue. Yeah, we're still all fine. Champion gloves. Oh, a new weapon, huh? Looks even better than the one I'm using right now. Sure. I appreciate it. There's no substitute for training, but I'll take solid gear where I can find it. Um, endure. Gloves that restore one HP upon death once per battle. Wow, that, that's actually not bad. I mean, it's not fantastic, but... Actually, I do like the fact that this can charm. But this does so much more damage. Ah, eh, fuck it. Just keep it. Can't keep the charm uh, gloves forever. Those charm gloves are super useful, by the way. Um, yeah. Argyle, interesting story. Powerful enemy spotted. Oh, another die one. All right. The other thing is like it's way. like uh, Henry Cavill is like uh, it's now or never. build pretty heavily like in the in the trailer. He's barely in it, like fifteen minutes. And I get it makes I, I get it that it makes sense to the story, but still. Does it work? Kirito Senpai's distressed! Pull the trigger. Sorry. You can't come not in this situation. I'll hit them where it hurts. Persona! No! That's it! Enemy Oh, why'd I do that? Her leader took one out. There we go. Get up. Now we do this one. The enemy's down. How slight you to pieces. What to do? Never mind. You have a skill that can hit a weakness. Uh, we have someone who does that one. Oh, 
No! Oh, fuck. God damn it. Um. Another dice enemy. When this one rolled, let's say, a four, for example, it... Um, I'm complicating things. It just used different attacks from one from the other one, but maybe there was a pattern to its behavior. The next enemy might not necessarily be another dice one, though. But keep in mind that some enemies may have patterns. Shall we keep going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue. Um, let's give... Okay, go another thing here. We'll give 50 this time. So I think there's only one boss left. Assuming it follows the pattern of threes. Memoir 3. The true nature of the shadows has come to light. In line with the excavated historical documents... Their origin will bring the world to its end. This has become readily apparent. The project should be stopped, but it may already be too late, maybe? Pink bikini. Who's it belong to? Yukari. Makes even Tartarus feel like summer. What is this? Bikini. Oh, is this from the summer when we were at Fukushima? Not Fukushima. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. Is it was it Fukushima? The island. Um There you go. Moving on. There you are. There's double dice. Double the trouble. Powerful enemy spotted. <sighs> Let's not fight yet. Let me raise Sonata's thing a little more. To all party members. No. Uh, that should be okay. Alrighty. Powerful enemy spot. I'm ready. All right. Three targets in our way. They're weak. But oh, don't be careless. There's three of them. Um. There's a decent amount of damage. Stall? No. Do it against that one. No Child's play. Uh, 
Nice. Um. You have a skill that can hit a weakness. Weak wind damage to all foes. Sure. Oh fuck. Huh? Leader, say something, please. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Retry battle. Okay. Retry battle is fine. Still setting up. Okay. to see um yeah I'll do that one Let me of course it misses <laughs> and I still died because I resisted. Prepare yourselves. What to do? Do I have anything that fully blocks Garula? Okay. Well, Come. let's see if this works. Let's see if I can poison them. I doubt it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Great start so far. Can't attack, which is good. Um, yeah, fuck power slash. Just do a regular attack. Oh, he gets two attacks. Fuck that. Um, 
this opponent. I have to do this. We can do it. Enemy defeated. You're doing great, Yukari chan. What's the plan here? Grease is full of defense. Let's do it against that one, yeah? Might as well. I'm resistant, so he can't fucking kill me. I mean, I would have actually preferred the defense, uh, defense up, attack up, all that shit. It's fine. I won't let you down. This will do the trick. Go for it. Let's go We're almost done with the fight. Um. Dear G, yeah. I was too occupied with fighting that thing to even notice at first, but is there really some kind of pattern with the dice roll? Oh well, we won in the end, so clearly luck's on our side. Who knows, maybe we'll get really lucky and hit the jackpot with the treasure chest up ahead. Or maybe not. Anyway, let's go check it out. Looks as though you defeated all the shadows in this area. All we have to do now is open that treasure chest. Let's do it! Ah, there it is. We're gonna open it, right? Devil Tarot and Book of Aeon. Seems the Devil Major Arcana card can now appear during shuffle time. Number of items obtained by defeating enemies and destroying breakable objects will increase until you leave Tartarus. Okay, cool. Uh, number of Major Arcana cards attainable in a day is increased by one. Nice. Puzzling cards hidden away in this already strange place. This Tartarus truly is a tower filled with mysteries. Uh, -huh. uh yes. Leave Monad. Okay. Be careful on your way back. Up and we going. On the other hand, we made good headway. Come back whenever you're ready. It's your choice to make. Okay. Old documents. I hoped to stay by his side, so I foolishly agreed to participate in the project. But the research was unbelievable. Should we really be experimenting with these shadows? Oh, well, should you? 
I don't know, fucking know. You're asking the wrong guy. Um. I just work here. Alright, but we're not quite done. Um. You remember, there was a cat on the 88th floor. And normally, I wouldn't really give a shit, but he drops, uh... He drops uh, Twilight Fragments, which we need. Desperately. Speaking of which... Oh, there's a treasure chest! On the plus side, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, I'm not gonna bother. Biting in the ring is fine, but what really gets my blood pumping is being here. You know, all that does is gonna give me more money shit. I think I'm okay for money. 233, I'm definitely good for money. I'm just gonna find the exit and go. We're doing well. Let's keep up the pace. I mean, unless they're like right my way. Know what I mean? Careful. The enemy's nearby. Uh there we go. Now what do we run into next? If you feel like the last fight was tough, that's a sign you need to slow down and build your strength. And let's get that chest. Hey, there's a treasure chest. Hey, look at that. Some money. Found the stairs. Nah, you, you can't find those chests. They're they're unfindable. If we're avoiding enemies going forward, take care they don't ambush us from behind. Uh, <sighs> Shadows are so go. annoying. Why can't they just leave? Okay, one okay. more floor. We should see Shadow the little bag. gato. Stairs. Little cat must be so scared. Look at the little ding. Could be a person. Okay. Yeah, yeah, There's we'll find him. Don't worry. Cat. I'm a kitty cat. And I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. I can run just about anywhere. How high up are we going tonight? Is that a chest? Is that a Supra? Oh my god, if you haven't seen that, is that a Supra video? It's like 30 seconds long, but... Oh my god, it's so funny. Okay... In the still of the night. Okay. Fuck all y'all. I want. I want the cat. I want my port. Enemy spotted. Let's take him down. So, cat is not here. Cat is back there. Don't worry, little one. I'm coming. A shadow. Hold on. Oh, he's all the way there. Looks like it's scowling. We need to protect it. Please come back to the entrance immediately. Take it back to the yes. entrance. Understood. Cat offered me something it was holding its mouth. 
Maybe it's a thank you gift. It's a bit damp, but I think I can still use it. Three Twilight Fragments. I will take them. Welcome back. Uh, I can stay here for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anything else? Uh, might as well request? do the request now. Wonderful. Please take these as your reward. Precious eggs. Nice. Create the Let's fifth document. The 50,000 yen. Nice. Very no. well. Okay. Let's save. That was a lot. Uh, just about three hours. I'm very sorry I put you all through that, but... Hey, at least I got the chance to get... Leave the blah, 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 blah. At least I got the chance to talk a little bit. And hopefully it wasn't too boring of an episode for you. Uh, we'll go back into the story proper next time. And uh, finish off the rest of summer and head back to school. Uh, but yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.